This video will show the proper steps to install the Chance Roundshaft helical piles. Roundshaft, also known as RS piles, are designed for compressive loads. Their advantage over drilled concrete piles and driven piles include rapid installation, immediate loading, no soil removal, they're easily installed in poor soil conditions, they're great for limited access areas, helical plates help prevent frost heave, they're a green alternative to concrete because no water is required, and they're sustainable. They're able to be unscrewed and recycled. Torque is the force required to screw the helical pile into the ground. The compression capacity of the pile can be determined by measuring torque. This cannot be done with concrete. There are six different round shaft anchor families based on the torsion and compression capacities. Torque ratings range from 5,500 foot-pounds to 60,000 foot-pounds, and compression ratings are from 60,000 pounds to 300,000 pounds. The tooling required to install a helical pile include a Kelly bar adapter with appropriate torque rating for the pile being installed, a torque indicator. Measuring torque gives a positive indication of the helical pile's compression load capacity, and a round shaft drive tool to fit your helical pile. See HubblePowerSystems.com for catalog information and installation videos of the complete line of Kelly bar adapters, torque indicators, and drive tools to fit your installation equipment. Let's begin by installing an RS3500 helical pile. Attach the pin set to the three helix lead section. The pin set makes it easy and fast to attach the pile to the drive tool. Simply lower the drive tool onto the pile and the spring-loaded locking dogs snap under the pin set to secure the pile in the drive tool. Additional pin sets can be purchased to install the RS2875 series of helical piles. Start the pile in a near vertical position. Keep constant downward pressure during the installation. The pile should advance three inches every revolution. Try not to let the pile churn or auger the soil. After the first helix has penetrated the soil, use a level to ensure the pile is vertical. Make adjustments during installation to ensure the pile is installed correctly. Once the lead section is installed, pull the drive tool locking dogs to release the lead section. Remove the pin set. The next step is to install the extension. Chance extensions are provided with the coupling bolts attached. Remove the bolts from the coupling end, attach the pin set to the drive end, and slide the extension over the lead section. Align the extension and lead section bolt holes and install the bolts and nuts. Install all the bolts, making sure to tighten the bolts and nuts with a wrench. Attach the drive tool to the top of the extension, continue to drive the pile, and add extensions until the desired torque is reached. Remove the drive tool and pin set. To complete the pile, add a pile cap or grillage. Pile caps are available with or without a bolted connection. HubblePowerSystems.com offers a complete line of helical pile and instant foundation products. Contact your Hubble Power Systems representative for more information.